One of the fun things about being a dungeon master is giving out rewards to players, be it in loot or abilities, or even in level ups for completing a quest line. However, there is one method of reward that I deeply enjoy, because it can play into a character's overarching story, either as a means to cap off their arc or set up a future event. This is rewarding feats. Now, this can be tricky because there are honestly some crazy feats within 5th edition, both the 2014 and 2024 rules. And right out of the gate, I would say if you're playing with the 2024 rules and you want to give out Inspiring Leader, for instance, go with the 2024 version for the sake of consistency. However, if feat you want to use does not exist, then feel free to use the 2014 one and adjust as necessary. After all, that's what backwards compatible means. Think of it like playing an Xbox game on a 360. Did that age me? Mm, probably. However, there's some wild feats out there, like the 2014 Great Weapon Master and Sharpshooter. However, there are also much more tame ones like Inspiring Leader, Actor, Chef, and Magic Initiate, as well as things like Fighting Initiate and the ones that grant weapon proficiency and armor. These are usually the ones I tend to give out. Rewarding these feats as a part of the story rather than a traditional level up can encourage players to potentially train in things, practice stuff in downtime or between missions, potentially even during campfire scenes between players. By extension of this, you don't have to reward the full blown feat. You can reward additional proficiency and stuff if you would prefer to do that, such as a specific weapon, armor, or skill. Magic Initiate though is my personal favorite because it can be a result of a magical accident that happens to a player. They get surrounded by arcane fire, thus granting them some magical ability. The player can then choose what school or caster list they want to pull from, which can work as a setup for a potential multi-class. Then something like Inspiring Leader can be a capstone to a character's arc who has nobility or is a leader in training. Case in point, Keyleth in Critical Role. It's fitting, gives a little boost, but it's not an overly game-breaking feat since it does require 10 in-game minutes for additional health to take effect. The primary point here is that loot is the classic way to reward players as well as milestone levels. However, there are a wide variety of ways to reward players beyond those, from feats that can set up additional plot threads or potentially proficiencies. Just take into consideration what works best for your game, what players have to do to earn it, and then go from there. And that'll do it for this video, folks. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing for more just like it. And I'll catch you all next time.